how inviting and tempting does that look if you want to see how i made it continue watching the video Welcome to FS Food Kitchen. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate my suya recipe. So in front of you here, you have, this is the beef that I'm going to use, which I've washed. So I need to just mop up the water, so I don't want any water at all in the meat at all. I'm Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put some lemon juice on the meat as well. Then the next thing I am going to put on the meat is some salt. One teaspoon of salt because I'm still going to add some more spices, so I don't want to put too much. One teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, actually, half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Next, I'm going to put just a few, half a quarter teaspoon of meat tenderizer. So the meat can be soft, so that is the meat tenderizer. Next, I'm going to put one teaspoon of ground ginger. So I'm going to also add three tea, table, um, teaspoons of olive oil so i'm going to push that to the side and then here i have two scotch bonnet prepared to that, I am going to add roasted peanuts. I'm going to add a few roasted peanuts. I will say uh, a third of a cup. I'm going to pan that. We all know those of you that come from the northern part of, of Nigeria, those who are Nigerians, because I grew up in Nigeria. I went to my secondary school there as well. So the houses, they are the originators of Syria. So you know, they always use peanuts, or sometimes they use kuli kuli, but I don't have kuli kuli, so I'm using this. So I'm going to keep crushing this. Then when I finish crushing this, I'm going to use that as well as part of the marinating process as well and i also have my yaji which is this which is straight from niger this is straight so when i finish doing the soya i just thought i'll sprinkle on it so that's the packet it's straight from nigeria you know so also it's authentic so i'm going to keep doing this guys as you can see is i'm still pounding it so to that i'm going to add some onion powder so 
So that's my onion powder. I'm gonna add some of that. So I don't want to add onions, whole onions. So I'll just add in some onion powder. If you don't have, if you don't have peanuts, or if you're, if you're allergic to nuts, then please omit the nuts. Please, you don't have to. You can just add the rest of the spice. So to that, I'm going to add some adobo complete seasoning. I know you might say I'm adding too much thing, but I want this soya to taste nice. I want to season the meat very well. I don't want uh, under seasoned meat. So, yeah, everything is going straight inside here. And I'm going to put it in the fridge for two hours. If, normally, it's supposed to be overnight, but this is okay. So I'm putting that. I'm going to marinate it with my hand. So it can go inside everywhere. And I'm going to cover this. For two hours in the fridge. Then later on, I will then grill it. I've, I've been soaking this sticks in the water so it doesn't burn in the oven or under the grill. So when I finish marinating it, then I'll be back. So I've finished marinating the chicken, so I'm going to clean film it or put some foil over it and it goes straight into the fridge. So I'm putting it straight into the fridge while I tidy up this place. So I'm going to make the basting oil that I'm going to use to baste the suya while it's in the oven so it doesn't dry off. So first I'm going to add some got, um, ginger puree. That much. Some ginger powder. Tiny bit. All for both seasoning. some olive oil so that's what i am going to be basting the meat with while it's in the oven plus i'm also going to add some soya spice to it as well i'm going to be basting this on the meat so it doesn't dry up now ready to assemble our Suya, the chicken, um, sorry, the beef has been marinating for two hours. So that's where I'm going to grill the suya. Just massage it again. I'm going to take one. Like I said, I've been marinating the steaks in the water. The reason why we do, I do that is so it doesn't burn. So I'm going to take one stick. Let me turn the camera so you can see. I'm going to take one stick. And put it. I want you guys to see it. So this is how I'm going to string it. I'm going to make like a zigzag. Like this. So I'm going to do it. So I'll keep doing that till I've finished.
So the oven has been preheating for 30 minutes and it's on gas mark 150. I don't want it to be too hot so it doesn't burn because I want it to cook slowly. So the suya that I like is the one with the tozo. Those of you who are Nigerians, you understand what I mean. I don't like suya that is too dry. I don't like it. So that's the second one. So I'll do the third one just to show you guys what I'm doing. Okay. And then I'm going to puncture it. It's, it's like you're sewing. That's why I don't see. Then you spread it out. So I'll continue doing that and I'll be back. So I'll see you guys in say 10 minutes. I should be done in 10 minutes. So when it's about to go into the oven, then I'll let you guys know. So guys, that's the suya. The I put them on the skewers. So ready to go into the oven. The oven has been preheating for about an hour. So I'm going to put this in the oven for at gas mark 150. So it can cook slowly. I don't want it to get burnt. So before I put it, I'm gonna put some of basic with this. And I don't want it to be dry. I don't want it dry. So each 20, 10 or 20 minutes, I'll be checking it and basting it as well. So it doesn't dry out. There's nothing worse than eating suya and you can't chew it. You can't you can't enjoy it because it's too hard. Like fried meat. Suya should not be like fried meat. It should be grilled and a bit soft as well. So that's how the houses do it as well. When they are grilling it, they always baste it. So I'm gonna put that in the oven for about I would say 45 minutes to an hour. And I'll see you after. So see you in about 45 minutes to an hour, guys. So guys, I'm going to bring out the suya from the oven now. It's ready. That's our suya, guys. Straight from the oven. Guys, this is the suya. It's ready. It's ready. Grilled. It's not too dry. So I'm going to take one and show you people what it looks like so this is how the suya people cut it so i'm going to cut it like that see so soft it's not hard it's not dry mm. and it's very spicy not too spicy but it's well seasoned there's not as eating suya that it's not seasoned mm -hmm. so guys if you love this video give it a thumbs up like comment subscribe and share with your friends and loved ones and i'll see you in my next video bye mm. this suya is so delicious so guys i wish you were here to share some with me mm. this suya looks so inviting and tempting I don't know about you, but this suya is calling my name. And I'm sure you want some as well. Don't worry. I'll post you some. <laughs> Alright, bye. Mm -hmm.